number X-ray number eight. Bravo. This is John. We're in southeast Indiana, right across the street from Cincinnati, Ohio. So uh, good afternoon. Roger, Roger, John. The reason I used to have folks repeat their call sign is uh, sometimes in the beginning it's kind of like a, a cattle um, a call and there's a bunch of call signs in there at the same time. So usually I'll repeat part of the call sign back so the person knows who I'm referring to and then they can say their call sign. And it'll be in the clear when I edit the piece uh, uh, to uh, go on uh, YouTube by itself. Uh, so they start with a nice clean call sign uh, piece of audio, Roger. I, I'm part dyslexic, I think, anymore. So yeah, I get I get them wrote down, but um, sometimes they're not correct. So uh, <laughs> nature of the beast, I guess, of getting old. But uh, yeah, we just talked the other day. I want to stop by and just say hello to you, and uh, and I'll get a report. Yeah, you've been running strong here, so team here, and uh, running pretty good. So uh, I just make it real quick, say hi, and uh, get a quick report, and. Uh, Tell you to have a good day there. Over. All right, I've got you on my local antenna, uh, John, and you're really sounding good. So I want to get some more audio from you since you're sounding so good. Uh, would you happen to have a radio story that you could uh, tell us? Well, um, yeah, I guess I could. Yeah, I, I invented a um, new mousetrap dipole. So, uh, yeah, I think I might have told you about it. I'm not sure. But um, 30 foot off the ground and uh, dipole one to one ballon and take that ground side and uh, unhook it from the pole and drop it down to a 45 degree angle and you can work that angle back and forth just a little bit to fine tune it with your coax and um, yeah, let's see just real quick I think we're around about 400 watts or so and um, Yezu 3000 and the great big 811 amplifier there. So uh, this is NX8B, and back to your. Roger, Roger, John. Nice audio curve. I got a really good copy. You're like uh, 20 over. So just just really clean, and I uh, really enjoy uh, copying the mail on you. Uh, like I say, your audio curve is uh, uh, couldn't be better. I r really like that. And uh, uh, I'm on my 134-degree uh, 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 aimed 10-foot uh, vertical magnetic loop, and like I say, you're about uh, uh, 20 over. It's like a, like a telephone you know, it's that, uh, that kind of a deal. No noise, hardly at all. And I think you'll uh, really love it uh, as you check it out on uh, my uh, YouTube, uh, Kiss of you Like Net. Uh, on uh, YouTube, uh, do a KC9VKV call search uh, along with the word logbook after the call sign. And that will take you to this recording and we'll get it uploaded by noon tomorrow. Roger? Very good. Yeah, very good. Appreciate that. So, um yeah, just nothing, nothing fancy on this end. I used to have all kinds of fancy equipment, but um, I do have the NRAD microphone from DX Engineering, the 629. So um, that's the only thing uh, extra I put with the radio, so that is all. Have a good day, 73, and thank you very much for what you're doing, KC9 VKV. I hope I got that correct, James. NX8B, over. Roger, Roger, John, perfect. And uh, what radio was that you're running? Yes, the FTDX 3000, 3000. Roger, now get that windscreen on there. Yeah, yeah, I do. I, I, I tend to slobber a little bit, so. <laughs> I thought about that before I started calling on the, on the radio. Just got home a little bit, you know, so. Uh, thank you. We'll take your advice fully, and uh, I'll make a note here, too, by the way. Thank you, NXA. Be clear. Yeah, so that's the only thing I could uh, think of to uh, that you would need would be that uh, uh, foam windscreen on there to uh, cut down on uh, uh, transients. But uh, I wouldn't change anything else. Uh, just, uh, just perfect. Just get the windscreen on there. 73, John, and uh, thanks for dropping by. This is KC9VKV, the Friday afternoon QSOV like net. If you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.